Hello everyone. How are you all? This is your host Pritam and you are watching Technical Portal YouTube channel. Guys, welcome back to another video of Microsoft Excel series that is running into my channel. You can check the playlist in my channel and also check the description box there you will find the link of the excel data file which i am using in this video so today we are going to learn how to count only the visible rows in a filtered list most of the time it happens in microsoft excel that if we are going to sum or click on auto sum for a range the whole range will be counted even after you filter the data list if you want to learn a new trick today watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get all notification from my channel so let's start Friends, at first I am going to run the OSK software that means the on screen keyboard so that you can notice which of the keys I am pressing in my keyboard. Friends, I have already created a data file previously. Here it is. Look at here friends. I have a data file like this and if I sum or auto sum this total price here you can look at here the list does not contain any filters and it is showing the result including all of the cells but if we give a filter here in this category suppose I am giving the category here now only the fruit cells are visible but here it is showing the whole result it didn't only count the cell that contains only fruit category even after the filter the result is shown as containing the whole cells here so how to get rid of this problem friends let's check all the category here then I have numbered here that how many of the cells are visible look at here 1 to 8 so I am writing here 8 and the formula we will use as subtotal in this formula you have to type like this equals to then write subtotal sub t o t a l subtotal then open the first bracket then you have to select the function number you want to have in my case i wanna sum the total of this cell so i have to select the sum from here that is number 9 so I am writing number 9 here so it will sum in the range in this range then put a comma here then it is asking for reference in the reference you have to simply type the range here nothing else in my case the range is from F5 to F12 you can also type this cell number here then put the bracket close and simply hit the enter so look at here friends it is showing the 176 as here but if you filter any number like I am unchecking the vegetable category then clicking on ok then look at here it is only calculating the results on the filtered range 
look at here friends it is 96 so that means it works on the filtered rows or columns also and let's check again if we select the vegetable here the calculation is perfect it is getting the accurate result here so if you want to count the number of visible items in a filtered list you can use the subtotal function which automatically ignores rows that are hidden by a filter the subtotal function can perform calculations like count then sum max minimum and many others for a full list you can check it here look at here you have lots of function list in this table what makes subtotal especially interesting and useful is that it automatically ignores items that are not visible in a filtered list or table this makes it ideal for showing how many items are visible in a list the subtotal of visible rows etc so that's all for today friends see you soon guys hopefully this trick will help you in your working life thank you for watching if you like this video please give a thumbs up and share your opinion in the comment box share this video with your friends keep learning keep supporting my channel and stay tuned